St. Catherine of Siena's story, the value Catherine makes central in her short life, and which sounds clearly and consistently through her experience, is complete surrender to Christ. What is most impressive about her is that she learns to view her surrender to her Lord as a goal to be reached through time. She was the 23rd child of Jacopo and Lapa Benincasa, and grew up as an intelligent, cheerful, and intensely religious person. Catherine disappointed her mother by cutting off her hair as a protest against being overly encouraged to improve her appearance in order to attract a husband. Her father ordered her to be left in peace, and she was given a room of her own for prayer and meditation. She entered the Dominican Third Order at 18 and spent the next three years in seclusion, prayer, and austerity. Gradually, a group of followers gathered around her. Men and women, priests and religious, an active public apostolate grew out of her contemplative life. Her letters, mostly for spiritual instruction and encouragement of her followers, began to take more and more note of public affairs. Opposition and slander resulted from her mixing fearlessly with the world and speaking with the candor and authority of one completely committed to Christ. She was cleared of all charges at the Dominican General Chapter of 1374. Her public influence reached great heights because of her evident holiness, her membership in the Dominican Third Order, and the deep impression she made on the Pope. She worked tirelessly for the crusade against the Turks and for peace between Florence and the Pope. In 1378, the Great Schism began, splitting the allegiance of Christendom between two, then three popes and putting even saints on opposing sides. Catherine spent the last two years of her life in Rome, in prayer and pleading on behalf of the cause of Pope Urban VI and the unity of the Church. She offered herself as a victim for the Church in its agony. She died surrounded by her children and was canonized in 1461. Catherine ranks high among the mystics and spiritual writers of the Church. In 1939, she and Francis of Assisi were declared co-patrons of Italy. Pope Paul VI named her and Teresa of Avila doctors of the Church in 1970. Her spiritual testament is found in the dialogue. Reflection. Though she lived her life in a faith experience and spirituality far different from that of our own time, Catherine of Siena stands as a companion with us on the Christian journey in her undivided effort to invite the Lord to take flesh in her own life. Events which might make us wince or chuckle or even yawn fill her biographies. A mystical experience at six, childhood betrothal to Christ, stories of harsh asceticism, her frequent ecstatic visions. Still, Catherine lived in an age which did not know the rapid change of 21st century mobile America. The value of her life for us today lies in her recognition of holiness as a goal to be sought over the course of a lifetime. St. Catherine of Siena is a patron saint of Europe Fire Prevention Italy. Thank you for reading this blog. Please share with others. Rick Herring, RickEarth875.com. P.S. Save money on products and services you are already buying. Save money on groceries, gasoline, home and auto insurance, shopping, cashback, cell phone service travel and more. Your choice of three gifts for completing our save survey. To learn more, go to http teamhopeministries.com.